When the Gibson Custom Shop started collaborating with Epiphone again recently, I really hoped that we'd get this. It feels like the Firebird has long been neglected by Gibson, which is a shame, because visually and sonically it's such a distinct guitar, particularly when it has Firebird mini humbuckers. This guitar only has one, but even with a single pickup and single volume and tone control, I've been so happy with the variance in sounds. I should point out here that I'm using the Line 6 Pod Express in the playing segments, which is as bare bones as an ant modeler can be these days, to further drive home just how versatile this Firebird one is. And in these voiceover segments, the music you hear in the background is just the DI from the Firebird running through various scoring patches that I have in Native Instruments Guitar Rig 6.
The neck through construction of Firebirds is really something you should experience if you can. Other neck through guitars that I've played usually are routed for a trem. This having a single pickup and the bridge directly in it is something special. The neck profile in here is special too. It's rounded, but it doesn't feel quite in line with the Epiphone 50s necks that I've played before, so I guess that's why they're calling it a custom profile. It pairs well with Gibson's standard 12 inch radius fretboard, and the fretboard is Laurel, which has been hit or miss in my experience. This is a hit though, as is the tuning stability, no doubt thanks to these high ratio banjo tuners, but definitely helped along by the perfectly cut Graph Tech nut which also lends itself to unbelievably low action for a rapper and a bridge guitar in my experience. It's all a testament to the quality control these inspired by Gibson custom guitars get, which is of course reflected in the price, so if you're considering buying, I want to let you know I did spot one issue only if you can call it that. The truss rod cover wasn't screwed all the way down. I don't care about that, but the internet has taught me that someone somewhere will be deeply disturbed by that, so you've been warned. Jokes aside, I know one concern people have with Firebirds is neck dive, and yeah, it was a problem when I used the top mounted strap button, but they've got two on here, and with the neck set strap button, I didn't have any neck dive. I'm really happy that the Firebirds legacy is being revisited and expanded, and I'm happy that Zalen sent this out on my request so I could check it out. I wanted to share my thoughts on it with you, unbiased. Gibson, Epiphone, don't know I exist. I've got 1,600 subscribers, so I'm not someone to make an ad for them. I'm just someone who really wanted to play this Firebird for a bit. With Zounds, there's nothing I have to say or can't say. I don't even have to make videos on anything, and I don't make videos on everything that I'm blessed to have come my way. But the stuff I really want to share my experience with, I do, and my friends there make it possible. I love thanking them every chance I get, along with all of you watching who support me, including the 98.7% who aren't subscribed. Getting back to the Firebird though, my biggest concern coming into it was the bridge presenting action or intonation issues. The action was not a problem at all, it was as low as I like any guitar string height to be and I didn't have any fret buzz issues because the fretwork in here is immaculate. The intonation was a problem, maybe, but that's because I didn't adjust it. There is plenty of room to do so though. I can't imagine that being a problem for any standard tunings with appropriate string gauges. Now I know Epiphone's pricing is going up and it does sting. Understandably, with them not having rosewood like similarly priced stuff from Fender and others, but there's no question as to why when it comes to playability and sound after playing this one. It's as good as any guitar can be. If you're considering one, I don't think you'll have any regrets. Thank you so much for watching. If you pick one up, let me know how you like it.